So I'm going to center this and open it up to the wheel and then move the clay all the way out so I can use, um, throw the tube out here. And I, use, I do this rather than extruding it because of particle alignment and there's, it's more flexible for how I like to use it on teapots or other forms. So you just keep opening it up and compressing it back down so you can move, move it all the way out. That's a close out. So then you open it up in the middle, and you don't open it all the way up because you want to leave clay on the other side. And then you pull two little short walls in a U-shape. because I'm going to close them in and then trap air and then I can start shaping it. And I want to make sure that seam is trapping the air in it and I'll take this and just sort of work it. So now I can take and make it more round, or you can make it, um, you know, triangular if that's what you want. And at this point, I'll put, um, I'll put marks in it on this side that become places for texture or glaze. And I do these on bats, and then I'll set them aside. And then after it sets up. You run a wire under it and you flip it over and you trim it so that it's round, all the way around. And I do it as soon as, as wet as soon as I can so that it's still flexible. And then I can cut it and I can then shape it onto the teapot and do whatever I want with it. But that's that's much more flexible than a, an extruded hollow form would be. Um, I also like then using the parts for splicing and dicing and adding little doodads. Um, and as it's drying, I do poke a hole in it so there's no trapped air because it'll pop off and do things. That's it. All right, super.